Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing another Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette tutorial. Now I googled a bunch of different kinds of tutorials with this palette just so I could get some inspiration because I'm not the best when it comes to picking out colors and making them look amazing on your eyes. I like a guideline or some techniques to be shown and what brushes to use because that is a lot of other people's expertise. So I actually found one from Sine. I don't know how to say her last name but I will pop it up on the screen here. Full credit goes to her because I took her look and I just duplicated it. So I'll have that video kind of playing throughout this one as a guideline. And I'm really, really happy with how this look came out. I definitely could see myself wearing this in public. It's not too, too crazy. So let's get on into the video. So this is the first time I'm filming in this kind of setup. You should see how I sprawled my stuff out. Maybe I'll film a little clip and throw it into some B-roll here, but um, hopefully this works out okay. This feels like a comfortable setup. I have my computer sitting down here so I can watch Sine's video, if that's how you pronounce it, so I can kind of loosely follow along. Um, with the colors for the eyes. I'm gonna start off with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Oldie but a goodie, like everyone likes to say. It's just a skin tone colored base. And I'm gonna take this brush that actually came in my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. It has a fluffy side and a more of a condensed concealer side to it. Uh, it has blue on it, but I have washed it off. This is just stained now. So I'm gonna go into this and I'm just going to pat that all over my lids. Typically, I would put on Too Faced Shadow Insurance as some eye primer, but with this eye look already being kind of heavy and so much product applied to both of the lids, I didn't want to put too, too many layers of anything, so I'm going to skip that, and this kind of acts as a primer as well as a base, and the shadows will stick better, etc. Well, going to need to pick up a lot more than that. All right, I'm gonna shift my setup a little bit because I do feel like I'm slightly too far away from the lens. All right, much, much better. Let's continue with this eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and start picking up my Jawbreaker eyeshadows. So I'm gonna start with the color Cute, which is this um, nice teal baby mermaidy aqua color. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner slash third of my eyelid. That's what it looks like she did, so I'm just gonna copy that. All right, so there's actually a mirror on here too, so this is super helpful. So we're gonna take a little bit of cute, and we're going to place that all in the eye. Okay, I'm not sure if I like this brush that I've chosen to use. It's not crazy vibrant on camera yet. I think it's the brush I chose and it's not as a concentrated bristle focused brush in the center, like where the bristles come together. It's more, they're more spread out. So I feel like this might be affecting how much color is being applied to my lid right now. So she's switching colors now. Okay, so for the coral color, it looks like she picked up the exact same brush I used for the blue shade. It's looking pretty harsh, girl. Alright, so I'm picking up another kind of version of this white fluffy brush that I used for the blue. This was by, I don't even know, it doesn't even say what brand, but it was a pro blending fluffy brush. This is the crown brush now and it looks very similar with the taper on it. So we are going to pick up the color that is right beside it, which is a coral color, but I'm going to cover up the name because this is not PG for my channel, but this is the color I'm going to be using in the center now to kind of transition like she said. This is a gorgeous color though, like absolutely stunning. I feel like the camera's picking it up a little more vibrant than it even is in person, but I just keep dipping my brush back in a little bit and kind of going over in little layers. I feel like my eyes already look like that popsicle that used to be super popular. I don't know if it's popular, but I just, I'm thinking of the color 
of the packaging in my head, and that's what my eyes look like right now. Kind of lilac, periwinkle, purple, 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 All right, taking another white fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M441. Same kind of tapered white brush as the other previous two, and I'm taking the color right there, that baby lilac purple color called Gumdrop. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. I hope the color transfers nice to the lid. Oh God, I put too much on my brush. Well, Jaclyn Hill says, blending is key, so I will just Blend the crap out of my eye and we'll be okay. <sighs> I need a fan break. <sighs> no one ever tells you that they can't use these fans in their video because the mic will pick up all this background noise but I'm sweating. I absolutely love this purple color called Gumdrop, but I think I did wash away too much of the coral color, so I'm just gonna go back with the coral brush and pick up a little bit more and just go over that a little, little more just to strengthen the color and the vibrancy a little bit more again. Gonna go with the blue one last time. Taking my big Morphe M532 brush and I'm just gonna kinda blend the edges together between colors. This eye look is definitely softer. Colors are a little muted. Like they pop, but they're a muted pop. I'm just going to cut my crease in the weak space. I don't think I want to do a full cut crease because that never suits me. And I've got like one lazy eye and it just accentuates it. So um, I'm going to keep that purple there and I'm going to pat it back down once I've cut my crease out. I'm just going to tap the edge out with my finger down here, just so it's not too harsh once I like pack the shadow on. I think for the lid shade it would only be appropriate if I use the color Jawbreaker. Going back in with my Painterly Paint Pot, we are going to recut, well we never cut the crease in the first place. Going back in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, we are now going to take this and kind of sculpt out a cut crease. Nothing too harsh like she just said. Um, because we still kind of want the shadows to bleed through and show out the edges, but we're gonna give this a shot Here we go All right, that's not working that well that's So I'm back with my full face of makeup on, my eyeliner, and my lashes. I do wish I had a little bit more of a dramatic eyelash just because this one is so fine and spread apart and you can barely tell I'm even wearing lashes. It does kind of go with the soft pastel eyeshadow, so I don't know, it can go both ways. Um, let's finish this eye look up and then I'll show you some lip color options. So we're gonna go with Cute, which is that teal color underneath the lash line. I think I'm just gonna use that same eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna do a little spot clean on a tissue. Then I'm gonna take that corally color that I do not wanna say the name of, put it on the same brush and put it in the center of the lash line. And we're gonna pick up that purple gumdrop color for the last outer edge. So I don't typically wear white eyeliner ever on my waterline, but in this video she showed that she does. So I pulled this one out I had in my drawer. It's kind of old, so probably not the best to be putting on my waterline. So I'm just gonna kind of rub it on the back of my hand, warm it up a little bit, um, just so it's creamier and it glides a little easier. And there's also just some black gunk on it and I don't want colors mixing. I hate the feeling of 
eyeliner on my waterline. It feels so weird. I remember when I was at dance competitions and I was little, my mom would do it. I would just cringe because it's this weird, cold, tickly feeling. All right, now we're gonna go in with the highlighter from Jeffree Star in Diamond Wet. And this is a very, very chunky glitter highlighter. So please have a light hand unless you just wanna look like a disco ball. I'm even nervous to put a little bit of this on because it just goes such a far away and it's glittery so it just gets everywhere. So I'm just gonna put a really teeny amount And I believe Sine also put this on her inner corner brow bone. I really don't want to do this with this color just because the glitter chunks are so chunky and I don't want that to get my eyeball. So we're going to go in with a pencil brush and we're just going to go back in with Jawbreaker and we're going to use that as our inner corner highlight. Just a really small amount because I don't want it to take away from the blue. And then I'm going to stick it on my brow bone. Beautiful color when it catches the light. Okay, so this is the finished eye look and face makeup. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you some lip colors, spray my face with setting spray, and then give you a little finished look. So because there are a couple different tones of colors in my eye look, so there's like that corally pinky red shade in the center and then there's like the purpley on the outer corner or even the blue you could do those kind of shades for your lips uh, i have so many different colors of like pink and corals here my lips are a little stained because i was testing them out as i was finishing my makeup in the bathroom but one that i thought looked really really nice and tied in the look together beautifully is this l'oreal glossy lip balm in the shade my baby doll 230 and it's just this giant crayon and it's like a high shine kind of glossy feel and look so um maybe i'll just quickly line my lips i just went to go grab a lip liner real quick i didn't really look too hard so this is the nyx 858 nude pink and we're just gonna do a quick little line i'm not gonna fill them in just because it is a very drying lip liner and then i'm gonna go in with that high shine glossy lip balm i was talking to you about running out here, but this is my NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. So that's the tutorial. Let me know if you guys think I did a pretty good job at following this tutorial. Um, and you know, who created it better or made, who wore it best? Again, I have to give a full content creation to Sine because she did come up with this look herself. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you are reminded every time I have a new upload to my channel. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for this video as well. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.